Wow, they've done God. They've done a lot of them, haven't they? Like I literally had never even heard of this character until no. this. They didn't make it into like the top ten Black Library books. No, not at all. Mm. Um, well, yeah, number two, Gasgol Thracker. Yeah, have we got that on here actually? Because I don't think we talked about it last week. Uh, there you go. Results. So number ten, it's the space pirate. Then it's Gaunt's ghosts. <laughs> Then it's got Trek. Then it's Sanguinius, Mortarian, Garrow, Sigismund. But then it's the book Tom and Ben read. <laughs> we read that. Someone had recommended it to us in chat. And uh, yeah, it gave it a read. I mm. thought it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. It was like a space heist. Like a space heist. Uh, yeah, the characters were all pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, they made them a bit more interesting uh, than... I think a lot of the law makes the assassins out to be, mm -hmm. where I feel like there's a lot of stuff in 40k that is blanket, just like they are the best. Raised from birth <laughs> to be a cold-blooded killer, <laughs> they are more of a machine than a person, and they ruthlessly like, efficient and efficiently ruthless. Just that, and <laughs> it just describes so many things, and it's like great. They all are the same, but apparently they're not the same. Yeah, um, and so actually making these a bit more a bit more fun, humanize them a bit better. Um, and then number two was the other book Tom and Ben read. <laughs> yeah, uh, Gasgol Thraka. Yeah. I, like, I think it maybe is my favorite Warhammer book I've ever read. Mm. I loved that it was all told by Makari from his Yeah, point of view. well, it's that like... It's so much more fun. Makari telling the story of Gasgol Thraka, but it's being translated by a blood axe into human speech. Mm. And so a lot of it is like lost in translation and yeah. stuff doesn't make sense and there are massive contradictions mm -hmm. that the the space marine and inquisitor who are listening to this <laughs> just, just like, being like you can't ha that can't happen <laughs> yeah. he's like well it did that's, that's exactly <laughs> how it happened they're like he can't both of died and lived at the same time it's like but he did he, he did. died and he was alive <laughs> yeah. but he's the best <laughs> he's the best well, that's what the boss did and <laughs> that's what the boss said so that's what happened <laughs> uh yeah and so it was really really good i really mm. liked it um would highly recommend even if you're not super into orcs mm. um if you are into orcs 100% read it because they just really get orcs real good in it. Yeah, it's great. And then the winner, like, I don't agree with this one, was the latest uh, Siege of Terror book, which I just thought was fine, but not great. But these two, is best. very recommend. Yeah, I think they're both fun. His little friend goes away after one use. Oh. It's sad. I guess uh, they unionized or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. What do you think they are? Little. I don't know, but I feel like it's this, like, a fucking bullshit. Well, you think they're heretic Xenos filth? They're clearly <laughs> heretic slash Xenos. <laughs> yeah. But every fucking space marine is like, no, we hate this thing. Apart from... Yeah. Apart from... Ogren's okay, Ratling's okay, Little Robo Boy's okay. No, Ogren's and Ratling's totally fine, because they're abhumans. They're right. stable abhumans. Yeah, what's the difference between an abhuman and a mutant? S uh, stability, Ben. Mm -hmm. Stability. The moment the like you know you start finding millions of people all with, you know, fish hands. Yeah. And you're like, great. They're not instantly chaos. <laughs> right. They're just stable, and they were people. It's when you can find one person with a fish hand, then you're like, uh uh. Right. Uh uh. Well, if you keep burning the one person with a fish hand, you'll never get fish colony, will you? There's a broken, broken, <laughs> broken system the Imperium's got. And, you know, maybe these people wouldn't turn to chaos if they weren't so horrifically treated. Mm. A lot of those mutants, I think, would actually be pretty chill. That's true. But they're uh, driven to chaos. Yeah. There's a bit in the in the book I just read about... Um, Beastmen? No, like, uh, all these, like, people are retreating from the front lines and they're reforming up from whatever's left, whatever stragglers and refugees and leftovers they've got to like reman the walls. But before they do that, they've got these guys walking around checking everyone for like signs of corruption. Because uh -oh. loads of people have like been super corrupted during the, the Siege of Terror. And um, every time they find someone, they don't find any buboes or any marks or any like, you know, fish hands. Then they like staple uh, like a receipt to them <laughs> and say like, you're you know, 100% sanctified pure. Good to go, good chunk. And that 
is the origin of purity seals. Really? They're like, you're sanctified pure, get on the front line. And they've all got like these, they, they, the rest of them caked in ash and dirt and filth, but they keep their little tag clean. Wait, that's where purity seals came from? Yeah, because in, in 30k, in Horus Heresy, you don't get purity seals, they don't exist. Really? And it's because they had to check each and every guy and like stamp them as good and trustworthy. Okay. They didn't have wax back then, though. Right. Just like a stapler. That sounds like a yaw hammer. Mmm, <laughs> well, is it? Or is it not? Big Kenneth, shut your mouth. Don't you um actually me? Have you read that book? Um, actually, they come from Oaths of Moment. That's not true. I I, I'll let you true. argue with the uh, nerds in chat about the Horus Heresy <laughs> and quoting different books at each other, which... Oh, nothing winds me up more than like, the certainty like of someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Just read it yesterday. It's a thing. I'm staying out of this <laughs> one. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yeah, don't uh, make me get the chart out. I will oh chart Oh, God, you. <laughs> not the chart. Please. God, think of, think of the innocent bystanders. <laughs> we have a skink star seer. Oh, he's a skink who thinks he's a big boy. Which I don't know how I feel about uppity skinks. I know, they need to know their place. Their like, bones are for frogs. And the not skinks. Skinks get the wiping rag. Yeah. You know, you want to gaze into a crystal ball, then you can fish it out of the the slan toilet. The, the, the poopies. Mm-hmm. Uh, Do not approve of this. But he's kind of a cool model. I'm kind of into it. I like his little Stargate. I like his little Stargate. Although I saw someone comparing it to the picture of the... Um, it was just a picture of that, and they're just like, oh no, and then a picture of the Lizardman puzzles from Warhammer 2. <laughs> right. I was like, oh shit, he's got one of those, <laughs> keep it away. But you're trying to like line up the colors. <laughs> yeah, I hated those. Uh, uh. But yeah, uh, he's he looks cool. I like that aesthetic a lot. Yeah. Um, is... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to probably pick up a few of the new Lizardmen to go with my existing army, but I didn't mm. think I'd grab one of these just because big stone chairs are for frogs. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Well, it looks like he's on his iPad, but I guess it's a ball. Just holding holding the ball. Mm. Is it better to hold the ball or have a little stick to hold oh, your ball? Definitely. That, this guy's much cooler. He's much like higher up the, the pecking order if he's got a stick for his ball. But he's got lightning gem, whereas he's got like an orrery. True, but he's he's got the puzzle wheel. Makes him much more dangerous. I think they both have puzzle wheels. Oh, they wheels. do. Yeah, you're right. Just slightly different puzzle wheels. Oh, that guy's got feathers on his hat. But I don't like his eyes, whereas that guy's oh, got yeah, cool yeah. eyes, but no feathers. It's a th real tough call. Such a tough call between the two. I hope they show the new Croxagore soon. I hope there are new Croxagore. What are the existing Croxagore? Um... Oh, no, I remember them. They're the, uh, these ones. These ones. These were these were pretty good. They're all right. These were pretty nice. Although, to be honest, I already have six, like three D printed Crocsigors. So maybe I don't don't need them. Just want to see a redesign. Yeah. Croco men are cool, and these are just kind of all right. God, they're so much better than the second version of yeah. Crocsigor, which so were. Which were like real weird skinny, flat boys. Skinny flat Crocsigor. <laughs> God, they were. Awful models. They just need to make them look like the Total War Crocs ago, really. God, those those guys are great. Mm. I think I could go with, like ten percent less Croco. Mm -hmm. uh, go more of this like sort of generic lizard, lizard lizard monster. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, these guys these guys are great. 